Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to place and switch between furniture using UD Game Engine. This is part 3 of the how to create a building system, so if you're new and don't know where to start, check out part 2 and part 1 in the top right corner or in the description down below. After this video, you can do something like this. Before this video starts, I just want to say thank you so much for 250 subscribers. The channels have been growing so fast so far, so hope you guys keep it up so we can reach 1000 subscribers together. Without further ado, let's get right into it. In the previous episode, we created a building system where we can preview, place and even rotate the wall. To begin this episode, let's download some furniture models. I download the models from Sketchfab, but if you have any model website that you can download from, you can use that as well. We want to download three models, which are a lamp, a wall and a chair which I put a link in the description down below. After you have downloaded, extract the folder, which is a zip file, and drag the 3D model into the Unity. After that, just drag it in the scene, right like this. And if some of the object is too big, just scale it so it's smaller, like this. And you also want to unpack it by right click, prefab, and unpack completely. Now let's go to our chair because our point is way above here. You want to select the default and drag it up, up. So that is like down like bottom. So when you place it, it's on the table, uh, on the ground, not collide with the ground. And let's also drag the table and okay I think this is good and now let's open our preview object so we want to detect if the user enter one two or three or four key so if they input dot get key down get key down is key code dot alpha one which is the key number one and let's else if repeat the same process for alpha two three and four like that and let's create a variable name a private variable in preview object or just preview yeah and then eight more variables which are walls uh, walls lamp chair and their preview And let's add the preview before that. So in here, we want our preview to equal to our preview wall. And let's repeat for the same thing for this. So preview table, preview chair, and finally preview lamp and we want to set the preview to tr true set activity to true and others to false so preview chair dot active to false repeat this for table and lamp And copy the entire ex this is except the preview equal preview wall for our preview table and change our preview table to preview wall change our preview chair to preview wall and finally preview lamp to preview wall and now let's look at our build script so we will want to create two of these variables instead of a wall and wall clone. And then 
change the variable in the instantiate function accordingly like this and after that you want to so our build dot furniture will be equal to our wall and then do the same thing for chair and this is lap and we want our build dot preview object equal to preview and finally we want to check if our preview is equal to null or not and change our preview dot transform dot position and it's also change this as well and we're done now if we run the program oh right so remove the script and create two empty game objects so this looks more clean preview object normal object so that includes wall desk Topar which is the chair and other game object to wait we haven't created a preview yet. You want to control D and move it aside and then drag it to our preview object and our world preview is also here. And let's just change the texture of it so it looked like a preview. All right, and now let's just hide it all under the ground like that. Also for the chair, and it will look something like this. And finally, let's just let's just put the variable accordingly. And there you go. So let's run the program. And one, we have our wall. Two, we have our table. Three, we have our chair, which is a bit buggy. But four is our lap, which works perfectly. So this is the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you still want to watch a Unity tutorial video, choose the video on the left or the right to watch. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.